Good day everyone. Today I want to show you guys how to draw a nut uh, for a bolt. And obviously when you can draw the nut, you'll be able to draw the bolt head as well. I'll show you how to do, do the bolt head afterwards, but I think the nut is more difficult. Here we can see we've got specific sizes from this engineering drawing handbook, which you used in your first year by Mr. P. Stachelas. We've got a width of 0.8D, which means that's the diameter, which is also the M value. If it's an M10 bolt, it will be 0.8 times 10. Okay, the M value of the nut is also the D value. Okay, we need a hexagon. Create, click on that little arrow. When you see a rectangle there, you'll be choosing the polygon. Click in the center, move out, make sure that the sharp side is vertical that you have a corner and another corner. Click. There's a corner and another corner. We'll be looking at drawing an M30 bolt. Right? So I'm going to draw also the circle in the center, which will give you the M value. Let's put the dimension there. And our M value will be the D value, which is 3, 0. We can see that we have a circumference of 2D. In other words, the distance from that point today is 2d which means it's 2 times the m value which is 2 times 30. so that will be 60. we can see we need to extrude to 0 0,8 times d let's do that And we're going to make this 0 0.8 times 30. That's it. There's your nut. We can now go install the thread. Let's say modify. Click on thread with your left click. There's the M30. Click on the thread and there you can see the nut is threaded on the inside. We also do have guys the pitch of the thread, which is the distance from there to there, which is 3.5 millimeters. From there to there, 3.5 millimeters, and so on and so forth. Now, based on your drawing uh, that's required for your thread, you can choose the cor correct thread here. The finer ones is more for more tighter fit. The more coarser the thread, the more stronger the nut will be able to be to carry the shear loads it tries to shear the thread the 6h is your tolerance class and grade okay for holes you'll see once i do the bolt the shaft of the bolt will be in a small letter for holes you'll have capital letters that's tolerances tolerances is when your shaft will be smaller than the hole that you're actually going to fit it through there's different types of tolerances what I've said, it will be smaller, sometimes it will be larger to be able to create a press fit by shrinking it down, put it in the hole, and then once it starts heating up, it expands, and then the, it will be a type of press, press fit. You're going to say, okay, I'm going to leave it at 3.5. And there's your thread on the inside. I'm going to sketch on the work plane. I'm going to click on origin. There's origin, the plus sign. We've got different work planes. I'm not looking for this one, which is parallel with the face of the nut or the one going through the center of the lines from there to there. We're not looking for that one, but we're looking for the one going through the furthest two corners. To create project geometry and click on each shape there. This will help you to be able to draw straight on the work plane. But point number one, draw your axes. Right click. Let me just escape from there. And there's my axis. This is my revolving axis. And now I'm going to draw my line here, which will go at an angle. Click on the vertical line. Move it outwards. Click on the horizontal line. And now, what's the distances here? The angle will be 30 degrees. Let's type in our 3, 0. And there's our 30 degrees. Our distance for the top, because this is an M30, and if you if you look at the distance here, 
Their distance is half. It's 15. Half of M30. We're going to get the distance as half. So from there to there, we need half of 15, which is 7.5, which is already there. If we go back to our sketch there, we can see that from that center outwards to that point there, you just need your 30 degrees there and half of this value. You can also measure it if you're not sure and just press R for revolve. Here's my axis and I'm clicking on my axis. There we have a revolve. Let me rotate this that you can see. And now you're going to say cut. That will help you to be able to cut into the material. Okay. And that's what your nut looks like there. Beautiful. You can do both at the same, same time. I'm going to say undo. And because I've drawn only that side, I'm going to do it on the other side as well. My angle has to go from there to there. Basically, it should be 7.5. But let's just first make it 30 degrees. These are 30 degrees. Let's measure. And put in our 7.5 millimeters. Seven point five R for revolve. I'm going to select both at the same time. I'm going to select on my axis. If it doesn't give you the axis immediately, you need to go click, click, and faga cut. Okay. There's your nut. Right. You can save it. And let's call it nut. M three zero and there it is safe and the same thing happens with your bolt as well um, I'm gonna click this away and open up another one and I want you guys to look at this very closely I'm gonna go back to the nut sketch Let's do this very fast. I want to show you guys how to use mathematics. When you're going to get to your actual assignment or do any test, you can use the nut and just change the values at will. The first value will be known as your M value or your D value. We're going to get busy with an M12 nut. And say okay there the dimension from that point to there must be a value of 2d so it will be 2 times right 2 times and then you go click on the dimension that you want the M value and just click enter so we went 2 times the M value and enter and there we have a mat mathematical relationship between that size and that size. That is known as dimension D0. As you guys have seen. Let's go back. It's D0. So I, I, you, I can also type it in manually. So I'm going to say if extrude. Select the face. Double it up. Doesn't matter. And let's type it in. Let's say this value as we know it is 0 0.8 times d so let's do it 0 0.8 times d 0 okay there's a mathematical relationship guys so all our dimensions is linked to the m or d value so let's go and sketch on the work plane 
plus sign, sketch, the work plane that goes through, uh, through the furthest corners, from there to there. I want to make it flat. And let's project the geometry. Never forget to project. Click on project. One and two. You can click that one as well if you want to. But it's not needed. And let's start drawing our angles. I know that this angle is 30 degrees. I know that this angle here is 30 degrees. Up to the center. Because we need half of it. Dimension that. Distance there. It's three. Remember, it's six from there to there. And then half of it is three. It's already there. Because I've, select, I've drawn it like that. Let me just put in the angle. Uh, three zero. Do the next one and let's look at the distance it's also fine this is what i want you guys to do please draw your revolving line first or you can do it afterwards but it's better to do it first so that you don't forget press r for revolve select the shapes Okay, we've drawn our dimensions, so let's go for Revolve, R, shape number one, shape number two, and I'm going to click on the axes, let's go look for the axes there, escape from that, axes, here's my axes, and I'm going to say cut, okay, we know that that is our nut, Give it some color. Save it as I'm just gonna call this M nut because this is what I'm going to use to change very quickly if I'm going to use this nut. So save. Once you have a nut to draw up, you will go and open this nut and then you file save it. File save is. Then you call it the nut that you want. Let's say we want an M20 nut. Okay, save. Now that nut will be saved into your folder of components. Make sure you save it in the right folder. Okay, don't save it again at the same spot. If you go to file, uh, save as, please make sure you don't save it in here. You need to go to your folder. Get assessments. And you'll be go looking for your folder where you saved your, your, your work into. Everything must be in the folder where your assembly is located in. Okay, so there you have your M20 nut. And now I'm going to change it. I'm going to go to extrusion, extrusion. Click on the plus sign. Double click on sketch. And I'm going to change this value and everything is going to change. I'm going to type in 20. And say yes right click you can see it changed there to 40 finish and everything changed proportionally let's do this again change that value to an m80 right click finish and it will change proportionally as an m80 okay let's go to tools here and say measure I'll measure it for you and you guys can see. The diameter there is 80. The radius is 40. Okay? And that is just the circumference, pi D. You can also look at the thickness from that face. I'm going to rotate. To that face is 0 0.8 times D. Or 0 0.8 times 80, which is 64. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy drawing your nut.